Hello everyone, this is Mirasol by I. In this video, as shown by the title itself, we'll learn about simple ways to avoid distractions when focusing. Number one, know your enemy. Identify what would distract you. One of the best ways to fully avoid distractions is to know what would distract you. This can be reoccurring distractions. These are distractions that often divert your focus, such as social media. But there are also situational distractions. These are possible distractions that can divert your focus on a specific time and session. For example, looking forward to an online live event or perhaps the current construction noise happening around your neighborhood. So list down what factors often distract you and could possibly distract you at that time. This will serve as your distractions list. Listing it down helps you build awareness instead of unconsciously being aware you're already being distracted. Once you have your distractions list written, it's time to problem solve. Think about how would you avoid or limit the distraction. For example, if social media is distracting you, the possible solution is you can temporarily uninstall the apps. If there is background noise, you can try to limit it by moving to a different space to work, such as a cafe, or listen to music. This can serve as your reference in preparation for your session or when you feel like you're about to get distracted during the session. Number two, make it inconvenient to do. The reason why distractions often make you lose your focus is because they are easy to do. If you receive notifications from social media, you get to pick up your phone to check out what it is. If you see your game console near your space, you're more likely to pick it up and spend hours to play games. To resolve this, make it either inconvenient or invisible. Think of ways that requires you extra effort to do the distraction. Temporarily hide it or put it far away from your space. If it's digital distractions, remove the notifications, uninstall it, or use website blocking extensions. You can also use if-then statements to make it clear what you need to avoid. For example, if I start checking social media, then I will add 30 minutes of focus during the session. Number three, amplify your productivity. Once you make your distractions either inconvenient or invisible, start making productivity attractive. Make your space feel like it's ready for productivity. You can do this by filling in your space with the materials you need. For example, if you're preparing for writing an essay, then you can set up your space with a cup of your favorite drink, a scratch paper and pen, your writing materials, a music playlist, and a timer. To further amplify your productivity, make your task chunk and detailed. If your task is too vague and big, you're more likely to distract yourself. So chunk it down. Create checkpoints of progress, a step-by-step process so that you can know what to do after every task and keep the flow going. You can also implement various strategies and methods to be efficient in your session. For example, if you're preparing for an exam, simply rereading your notes can be boring and risk you to procrastinate. You can amplify your productivity by using flashcards, mind maps, or even practice tests. Of course, amplifying your productivity is best to think about your rewards after you finish your session. These rewards can actually be your distractions. You can finally play a game, watch a K-pop video performance, walk around in nature, or talk to your friends. Any reward is fine, no matter how simple and small, as long as it's something you can look forward to after finishing your session. Number four, make use of either Pomodoro or Flow Time Technique. Pomodoro makes use of time intervals to chunk your tasks, intensely focus within a time frame, and take break in between sessions. You can do the standard Pomodoro, which is 25, 5, or do other intervals such as 50, 10, 90, 30, 120, 60, depending on the tasks you need to do. Flow time, on the other hand, allows you to focus for as long as you want. Simply use a stopwatch timer to see how long you focus. You basically stop once you finish your tasks or you feel tired and of need of a break. Number five, record the times you got distracted. If you notice yourself getting distracted during the session, like unconsciously checking social media and spending almost 30 minutes on it, you can practice your self-awareness by re-recording the times you got distracted. You can note the time you got distracted, 
How long you got distracted and what specifically distracted you? After the session, review what distracted you so that you can avoid it in the future. I highly suggest you manually record it to become more mindful. You can record it either on a blank paper or a digital sheet. Number six, study with me or music playlists on YouTube. YouTube can be a rabbit hole, but it can surprisingly help you to stay focused. Through using YouTube on your phone or tablet devices, you can take advantage of the videos taking a pause when you exit the app. Study with me videos are the best way to stay focused on your tasks. Plus, watching someone be productive real time can be quite motivating. You can even listen to music playlists on YouTube like Animal Crossing playlists or cafe music playlists or even an album you want to listen. To. Through these videos, you can take advantage of the length. You can apply Pomodoro or flow time technique by setting the number of hours to focus based on the video length, then finishing the session once the video ends. Number 7. Join a productivity group. This can be through Discord channel, Yolpumta, Study Lives on YouTube, or other platforms such as Binder UK. I highly recommend you join a community who is the same age group or the same course you're taking or at least have common interests with. You'll often find a community on Twitter or Instagram. If you're having a difficulty to find a group that you like, then perhaps you can create one and invite others. Through having a group, you can be productive with others and gain accountability to accomplish your tasks. It can also be motivating to stay focused when you have other people focusing with you. Number 8. Time blocking Last but not the least, we have my personal favorite method. Now, time blocking may not be for everyone, but I highly suggest you give it a shot before deciding it's not for you. It can look quite controlling for some, but personally, it's liberating because I get to maximize my time every day and accomplish, if not all, most of the things I want to do. Time blocking can come in various forms. It can be condensed and detailed or even loose and spacey, depending which one you prefer. Time blocking helps you schedule a time and length to focus. By creating a schedule in accomplishing your tasks, you are more likely to stick to it to avoid disrupting the schedule you made. Time blocking also helps lay out how will you achieve your task instead of feeling lost on how to accomplish the to-do list you've made. This also allows you to become aware in creating breathing spaces or time for rest and also create the time you can actually enjoy the distractions. And that's it for this video. I hope these eight points are helpful and you are able to gain some new learnings on how to avoid distractions when focusing. Let me know what you think below, comment what you think is a point that you want to try out. And as always, this is Marisol by I, and just a daily reminder to keep dreaming, keep growing, and keep blooming. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye!